guys! My friends know how much I love Diet Coke, but I hate throwing away all the empty cans. So I started playing around with some ways that I could possibly upcycle or reuse them, and today I'm gonna show you three amazing things you can make out of an empty Diet Coke can. I'm Brooke, and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. First up is this super cute, colorful DIY herb garden. We're gonna start off by removing the lid from the can with a handheld can opener. I couldn't believe how easy this was. It takes a couple seconds to get the lid off and it leaves you with a nice smooth edge. And ta-da, we have our first planter. You're gonna continue this step for however many herbs you're planting. I'll be doing five and now we're gonna head outside to paint. I'm gonna start with this really pretty lime green spray paint and you wanna make sure you're outside or in a well-ventilated area and you're just gonna hold it about eight to 12 inches away from the can. Depending on your paint, you'll need to do two to four coats, letting it dry about a minute between coats. Our cans are painted and they already look so cute. Now we're ready to plant our herbs. I'm gonna start with some basil that I already had, but you could just use potting soil and seeds and watch them grow. And we're done, these turned out so cute. You're gonna continue these same steps with the rest of your herbs. Now we're gonna put them in the windowsill to get a little sunshine. This next one is my absolute favorite. It's a silverware caddy that'll take you less than five minutes to make. I have six empty cans that I've already removed the lids from, and the first thing we're gonna do is punch a hole in four of the cans to attach the handle. I'm using a crocodile, but you can use any metal hole punch. Now assemble the cans so that the four with the holes are on the ends and the holes are facing inwards, and then we're gonna attach everything with our hot glue gun. and it should basically look like a six pack of Diet Coke. Now we're gonna attach our handle. I'm using a paper wrapped floral wire and we're just gonna thread it through the two holes that we made and create a loop. And now for the fun part, we get to fill up our caddy. This looks so adorable filled up with all our utensils and it makes the perfect centerpiece on a picnic table. You could paint them as well, but I love the look of the raw cans. They just remind me of summer and barbecues and the names on the side are such a fun touch. I love this last one and it's also the easiest. We're gonna make personalized luminaries or candle holders. I was so excited the first time I found a mom can that I wanted to find a fun way to display it and that's what inspired this. So all you're gonna do is take a piece of painter's tape and cover up the name on the side then spray paint the entire can. I'm using my favorite gold spray paint and peel off the sticker. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And we're done. I think those look so cool. All we need to do is add a votive and light it and it makes the perfect room decor. All right guys, I'm so happy with the way these turned out. I hope you'll give them a try. Tell me in the comments below which one was your favorite and I'll see you next Friday. Bye guys. Bye guys. Is this my Diet Coke? Yeah. Dad, okay. I do not like to share my Diet Coke. And now I don't have to.